Lord, thank you so much for today. The amazing work you're doing. Jesus, we love you, we bless you, we thank you for just moving in this area. In Jesus' name, amen. So, I talked about John 3. Guys, uh, amazing stuff that happened. So I'm in Mayo. Actually, the town is called Perry, Florida. And with Nam. Nam, say hi. Nam, say hi. Hi. There you go. He's there. Um, so, the first message I'm going to upload. But then... Um, Then I need to share about what has happened today. So on the flight, on the way into the flight, uh, there's a guy at the shoe shine, and uh, the Lord told me to give him what was in my pocket. And he just was like surprised, and I prayed for him. Um, then there was a lady who was in the airplane looked like she was writhing and I'm like oh god is she demon possessed and we had just landed or are landing I, I don't remember which one and I said ma'am are you alright she's like I gotta go to the bathroom now I'm having pain and I'm like just go if you gotta tell him look I'm gonna pee on the floor and she just bursts out and then she came back she felt better and and uh, her boyfriend or whatnot said I told you to go I am just berating her I said hey it's alright it's over I learn for next time all good. And you feeling good? Good. No worries. It's done. And she was just so thankful for it. So uh, I said, God bless you guys. Uh, then we got to the hotel. Uh, there was a moment on the, on the way, it was a two hour drive where, uh, man, you twisted the camera, thanks. Uh, it was a two hour drive and I was like, man, I gotta get some rest or I'm gonna drive off the road here. And I did. The Lord said, yeah, I get some rest. And I stopped at the rest stop and had a power nap and was thankful for it. It was still a struggle to, to drive, but um, uh, praise God, I was just fine. Then got to the hotel. I had to actually change the room because it stunk, uh, like smelled bad. Um, and then there was a problem with the lock, so they got me another room, which was fine. I was on the first floor. And then... Um, Sleep was was good. I had zonked out and woke up with a headache. It was, I mean, I've been going all night. I Esther had a miscarriage on Friday night, and we prayed, and all of us, even Nam, felt, look, we need to go. This is the Lord moving. And Esther's like, honey, you got to go. I can't stop you, and uh, and you need to go. And I was like, okay, because I'll stay here if I have to. And she's like, no, honey, I, I know you need to go. And I was very thankful, and I, I, I did. I only got about three, three hours of sleep that night, um, just trying to care for her through the miscarriage. So Naomi Esther is with Jesus. Um, and, and I saw, as I was driving, there was a billboard uh, in Florida. It's a pro-life billboard. It says, uh, baby smile at 12 weeks from conception. And Esther would have, or excuse me, Naomi would have been 12 weeks. It, she was a little past 12 weeks. And there was a, the, the sense was her very first smile was seeing Jesus' face. Um, and uh, I had a vision of baby. I have to share that one separate. Um, Actually, I'll share it now. The vision was, I saw Leanne holding Naomi, Esther. And I could hear Leanne's voice smiling. And she's looking at me, smiling. And she's holding the baby's hand, say, say, hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. And I heard Naomi say, hi, Dada. And that was this morning, because I, I asked during my devotions, I said, Lord, can I please see Naomi Esther? And I saw not only Naomi, I saw Leanne. It was precious. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. I'm only dirt, but I'm God's dirt. My dear brother said that on the internet. I appreciated that comment. 
Um, woke up, guy saw my shirt. He said, I came, I saw it made it what? He said, I came, I saw it made it awkward, but the lettering came off. I said, awkward. I come and make things awkward. Got to go give him a book, and I gave him a copy of Eighth of a Tank. Look, if none of it sells, I'll just buy it myself and give it away. Make sure somebody gets it because it's a testimony of Jesus Christ through a simple, broken family. And it's all Jesus. And he appreciated it. And then I gave uh, the housekeeping ladies. They're like, yeah, we need some encouragement. And they were sweet ladies. Gave them like five or six copies. Then uh, went outside to... Uh, get ready to go, we were going to go to Mayo Correctional Institution. I was going to go anyway, see if I couldn't see the chaplain. He wasn't in, but I managed to give him a book, you know, pass it on and pray for the officers and uh, pray for the lady that came out, Ortavia, which was precious. We had church right there, a you know, sweet Christian lady who wrote a book herself uh, of coming out of domestic abuse. But at any rate, get ahead of myself. We come out of the hotel and there was a couple of guys, um, they had a trailer, it was a barbecue smoke, house, smoke trailer, and they were grilling for a some sort of function, and the camera's twist, twisted, uh, for some sort of function. And then um, I started talking to them, and they're believers, um, and uh, the older guy, he was helping the younger guy, and it was actually the younger guy's business. Um, Oh, Dem Boys Barbecue. That's what it was, Dem Boys Barbecue. Um, and uh, I chit chatted with them and uh, gave them each a book and ordered um, uh, cross and switchblade for them. And uh, one guy, Greg, the other guy, Spencer. And I, I prayed for the guy and I started praying for their house and prayed an anointing and whatnot. And he said, Brother, that is so awesome you prayed for that. It's funny you say that because my uh, wife's sister, she wanted to have her come and stay, and I wouldn't let it. I told my wife, I said, no, this is against my protocol. I cannot um, let anybody in the house unless a man of God comes and prays for it and anoints it and prays over it. And you just came, and I receive it, and that man of God has come. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, thank you. I know. <laughs> so, because uh, I really struggle with um, what what I'm doing, and uh, uh, I think my film might make it to uh, White Chair Films with I Am Second with the way names holding it, but that's all right. <laughs> so uh, then, um, oh yeah, I got a crick in my neck. Um, so we get in the vehicle to go to Mayo, and we do devotions on the road. Um, I shared some scripture with Esther and the Holy Spirit. So what I shared, man, twist, because your camera's twisted. Um, what I shared was what I tried to share in the devotional <laughs> this morning, um, and that uh, was this, and it's John 3. I'm going to share it right now. So, um, and it goes like this, John 3, 16. Um, uh, uh, God gave his only one and only son. We, um, you know, this is the judgment. We, the drug dealer, pimp, prostitute, whatever, they know they got issues. But it's the one that doesn't want their wicked deeds exposed. And what's that? That's religion. Where you say, oh, I am a Christian. And it's like, oh, yeah? Expose yourself. Show your deeds. Let it be known that it's done of God and not of your own flesh. See, someone in religion, they know they're doing wrong. Because they don't want their deeds to be shown. You know, do you have peace? Do you have joy? Or are you um, coveting? Jealous? Are you gossiping? Do, are you poking fun at the next person? Uh, you know, there, there's a, somebody I, I uh, did an energy audit for, his wife was very nice. He had a bad reputation, I'll put it, to, I'll put it that way. He was a contractor and had a very bad reputation uh, with his business dealings, had some lawsuits against him, refusal to pay, that sort of thing. And yet, 
um, he told me he wouldn't forgive uh, a certain family member of his. I said, look, you need to forgive because that's what the Bible says. If you call yourself a believer, you forgive. That's the nature of Jesus. He says, I don't need to forgive. It's like, okay, well, you know what? I'm not judging. I mean, this is what the Bible says. The one who believes in the Son has eternal life, but the one who refuses to believe in the Son will not see life. Instead, the wrath of God remains on him. And if you're critical, sarcastic towards people, um, harmful in your speech, if you're um, have a foul mouth and that's just your nature coming out, and then all of a sudden, um, Nam, what's going on? You can't. I'm putting it over here. Um, can you, you can't see me, Nam. Oh, you can have kids? You are ridiculous. I love my Nam. So, um, uh, his, his arms, I think his arms are getting tired. So, um, so, he, um, You know, Jesus says, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you, bless those who curse you. You know, that's, that's our action. That's how we ought be. But yet, if that's not in you, then you should say, Lord, do I believe what you say? You know, we should be the salt and light of the earth. Not just say, uh-huh, to say, oh yeah, I believe Jesus died, rose from the dead, and all that. That doesn't do anything for you. We don't need doctrine. We need Jesus. We need him to walk in us. I'm sorry. It sounded on fire when I was preaching. But it was, it was essentially, look, our actions need to follow our heart and our words. And um, love you guys. Bless you. And thank you for praying for us. And uh, oh, we also did run into a, a lady at a restaurant. We're thinking, um, uh, she said, you know, I'm not a smart woman. I said, ma'am, you've, you've clung on to Jesus, haven't you? Oh, absolutely. I love my Jesus. I said, then you are the smartest woman in the world. And she's like, woohoo, hallelujah. She's like, I love my baby. I love my Jesus. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I gave a big old hug and, uh, and I said, that, that's the most important thing. You know, don't go by what, what the world says. Go with what Jesus says. The smartest thing you can do is choose Him, and totally trust Him. And uh, she, uh, she was a blessing, and uh, uh, and she was set free. I mean, she was like, "Hallelujah, glory!" And she's taking care of her younger brother. I think his mom died. He's only 15, and she's uh, 16. Thank you. He's 16. She looked like she was like 50s, ma'am. For late 40s, early 50s. Oh, what do you think? No, 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 no. She was older than me. She looked older than me. No. Uh, unless she had a rough life. Um, she but but she was. She said her mom died. And she said a whole Yeah. Okay. So. Um, I would say middle thirties. Middle thirties. Okay, I take that back. Okay, I'm sorry. But um, but she was. And she, she didn't have any gray hair. Yeah. So she was just totally uh just totally blessed and is um just amazing it's just been an amazing trip so god bless you guys and love you and uh chat with you later father thank you for my brethren may they be encouraged to go boldly and proclaim the name of jesus in jesus name amen what